Jeff, if you don't know me. What I'm doing today is these little tags. I got them at um, Hobby Lobby. They come in a couple of different shapes. Sorry for the glare there. And you can get uh, 24 of them for $4.99. So I thought, man, these make cool little ornaments. But how do you sublimate on them? No, they don't sublimate as the, as is, unfortunately. So, what I've done is I took regular, this is Sizer, HTV, what you would normally use for a shirt. And instead of putting it on a shirt, I put it on the ornament, or tag. Now what you do it at um, regular size or pressing times is fine. Uh, I had mine set to 310 for about 15 to 20 seconds. And pretty firm pressure. You want that good firm pressure. And leave the carrier sheet on. Because that plastic, clear plastic carrier sheet is made of polyester. So that's what's going to take the ink. So I've already done this side. And I thought, well, let me try something a little different. And I got this prism, silver. So I'm going to put a photo on the white side. And just a message on the silver. So let me go ahead and press this. I've got a piece of silicone down. Uh, you can also use uh, your Teflon sheet. In fact, Teflon sheet works a little better. But I can never find it when I need it because it's a little small piece. So I just line that up. I'm going to press it for about, about 15 seconds. At fairly firm pressure. On my Hotronics Fusion, it's a, a 6. So we're just going to let that press for about 15 seconds. That's it. And it should go down pretty good. Alright. Easiest just to move this whole thing. So I'll move it over to what I call my cooling table. It's actually a piece of marble out of an old uh, coffee table, believe it or not. Or end table, I mean. And it just stays cold, so things cool off fast on it. Let me get this out of here. Alright. Alright, that's cooled off pretty good. See, it's on there pretty good. And then all you have to do... Just take your X-Acto knife, sharp blade is a must, and trim around it. Let me do that. Okay, got it all trimmed up. Hardest part's the hole. And ready to, ready to press. Remember, you leave the carrier sheet on. The carrier sheet is made of polyester. We sublimate on polyester. Now I've turned my heat press back up to 350. It's set on 60 seconds. And while it's warming up, I'll go ahead and take my design down. Okay, my press is up to temp. And I've got my design taped on. These little sheets come in really handy. These are sandwich wrap sheets. Uh, you can buy them at a restaurant supply. Or uh, sometimes you can pick them up at some grocery stores. But they come in handy for small things. Anyway, got my design taped on. I'm going to 
do it just like so. For 60 seconds. Another way to get this done is the glitter. You could use just plain glitter HTV and take the carrier sheet off of that because the glitter itself will sublimate. Alright, let's see what we get. Once again, I'm going to move it over to my cooling area. See, that almost cools. Well, that's still pretty hot, but it cools almost immediately. has kind of oozed out. You'll have to trim that up later. And there's your your ornament. Like I said, you got a little stuff oozing out that'll all have to be trimmed up. You don't have to uh, do both sides. But I did, and that's why I'm getting the extra, extra adhesive oozing out. But it'll trim up, no problem. Let's do the other side. Same thing. Let me lighten up the pressure just a little bit. Sixty seconds. Probably wouldn't actually take uh, sixty. Might be able to go with forty-five, possibly even thirty. But sixty is what I've tried, and so far it's working pretty good. Two, one. I didn't even give it a chance to beat. To the cooling table. That cool for just a minute. It cools down to the touch pretty quick. I mean, it's still hot, yes. I wouldn't want to hold my hand on it. Once again, move back to. Glue sticking, but it's nothing that can't be trimmed off. And, and there's on the back side. Now let me trim this off and show you the finished product. And there you go. It's easy to do. Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of work. Uh, this, be honest, this is the first time I've had the problem of the, um, the adhesive oozing out. Maybe less pressure, less time would, would help take care of that. But it's not hard to trim off. And I took just a little bit of sandpaper and did, went around the edges. So there you go. One way to do the ornament. And the other way, like I said, or another way, would be with the Glitter HTV. And with it... You press it on, follow the instructions for your HTV, uh, probably 320 
for 15 seconds or 305 for 20 seconds or whatever whatever it says um remove the carrier sheet from that glitter is made of polyester so it will work i have another way of doing them and i'll show you that next time in the meantime thanks y'all uh, don't forget to like my video share it um comment please let me get this this youtube channel built up some i appreciate all your help and just know i'm always there to help you in any of the groups that i'm in the facebook groups Until next time, don't forget y'all, think outside the box. It's more fun out there.